Okay, I want to spend this session talking about the advantages of RAID systems in servers, especially hardware RAID. Now RAID stands for a redundant array of inexpensive disks. Basically it's a method by which you can install additional disks into a server and spread the information across these disks. This means in the event of a failure of a single disk, your whole server system doesn't go down. So, as you can see, when we lose a single disk in a non-RAID system on the left here, we get data loss because there's no disk, there's no information, and basically our users can't work until we replace the disk and restore the data. In the middle here, we've got a RAID 1 system, also known as mirroring. If I lose a disk here, because the information's actually duplicated between the two disks, meaning there's a copy on each, my users can continue to operate even though a disk has failed. Why? Because the information is still on the second disk and they can operate from this. This therefore means no data loss. The same thing again applies with a RAID 5 system on the right. If I lose a single disk, because the information is spread across three disks in total this time, I, again, there is no data loss. Now, if I also include hardware that incorporates hot swap technology, which a lot of higher range servers will include, it means that if I get a failed disk, I can replace this disk while the server is still operating, i.e. while the power is still connected, while the server is still running hot. If I do this on a non-RAID system, it makes no difference because I've had a single disk failure, I have to replace that and then I do a restore. So hot swap on a server with a single disk doesn't make much sense. However, on the two systems on the right, the RAID 1 and the RAID 5 system, if I have hot swap technology when a disk fails, I can just pull that disk out and replace it on the fly, even when the server's operational. So again, there's no downtime, there's no need to reboot the system. Now you may ask, what's the advantages of a RAID 1 and a RAID 5 system? Well, basically, I like to implement a RAID 5 system for the following reasons. Firstly, if I do get a failure on a disk in a RAID 5 set, and I've set it up so it's got four disks in total, three plus a spare, when the failure occurs, the spare is automatically configured to take the place of the failed drive, meaning my RAID 5 set maintains its optimal capacity. Also means that I can replace that failed disk at my leisure. Again, no downtime, no data loss. Also, typically when we configure a system and install it, there's plenty of free space. But as you know, as user requirements grow, the amount of free space decreases. If I've got a RAID 5 set with four disks in it, a three and a spare, and I'm starting to run out of space, what I can do is I can reconfigure the RAID array so that it now becomes four and no spare. This now means I have additional free space available for my users, and again, I don't suffer any data loss or any downtime. This is some of the advantages of a hardware RAID system.